Hi guys, and welcome to another day of Ask Whitney with Chisum. I'm gonna be going to work soon. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on my video. Today I did this Arabian inspired makeup tutorial for you guys. I hope you like it. I know it's a little bit out there, but you know, sometimes we just gotta plan our makeup and you know, just have some fun. So yeah, and also I wanted to let you guys know Wait, did I have anything to tell you guys? No, I had a I had a question to ask you guys. If you guys have any like um videos that you want you guys want me to film, just let me know down below in the comments. I'll definitely go ahead and do that for you guys. But yeah, I'm gonna keep this intro short. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Please share this video and give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs> All right, so I'm starting off with a drink of water. You know, get some, getting hydrated. Then I'm gonna be using this Dior lip gloss. I'm just, you know, putting that on. I like to use a gloss before I start my makeup. And I already have my brows filled in. If you want to see a brow tutorial, just let me know. I'll go ahead and film that for you guys. I just like to do it off camera because it takes a little too long. Then I'm just going to be priming my eyelids. I'm going to be using my MAC Paint Pot and Paint Relief. Y'all know the drill. I'm just going to take my finger and pat that in. Then I'm going to be using this Morphe eyeshadow to do my brow bone highlight. I was pointing at the wrong one. It's the one to the left of it, and it's called Matte. Then I'm going in with another Morphe eyeshadow brush with my Sephora Pro Crease Brush. I think this is number 18. And I'm just gonna put this as my transition. I'm gonna list all the brushes I use down below. Anyway, so yeah. Then I'm just gonna go into this Morphe eyeshadow. This is number 44. This one does not have a name because when I bought it at the time, they didn't have names, they just had numbers. But it's still the same exact number, they just now have names. I'm gonna be placing this on my crease. Exactly, I'm gonna be doing like a cut crease. This is the easiest way that I do my cut crease. And the brush that I'm using is a Morphe M331 brush. Next, I'm going to be using this Makeup Geek eyeshadow in the shade Time Traveler. And I'm going to be placing this exact on top of where I placed that Morphe eyeshadow. I'm just going to go ahead and just blend that out, blend out the edges just so it won't be so harsh. Then I'm going to be going into this Makeup Forever eyeshadow. It is called I-220. And I'm only putting this on the outer edges of the cut crease. I'm not putting it all the way in. Or bringing it all the way in. And we'll go back and blend again. Blend out those harsh edges. It's all about blending, 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 blending. Next, I'm going to be taking this NYX eyeshadow called Whipped Cream. It is a pure white matte eyeshadow, and I'm using my Sephora All Over brush. I am not sure of the number. I will list it down below again. Like I said earlier, I'm just going to list it down below because I don't know the number, y'all. And I'm just going to go back and blend. 
The next one I'm gonna be taking is Make a Geek Pigment in the shade Sugar Rush. This is one of their new duochrome pigments. Now the camera really didn't show how pretty this pigment is in person, but it is so pretty. But because of all the lights that are sitting in front of me, it just it just looked washed out. But y'all, it's a gorgeous pigment. And I'm just using some Mac Fix Plus to spray out to the brush and then grab the pigment. And I'm just gonna just blend a little bit more to just you know diffuse it. Then taking my handy dandy Inglot Gel Liner in number 77. I'm gonna be doing a wing liner, and I'm also going to be bringing um, the front of the wing a little bit out to towards my nose. And I kind of messed up on this wing over here. I made it a little too big. And you'll see me later just, you know, that's you'll see me making faces about it. Or, yeah, so I have to go back and redo the other liner, make it a little bit thicker because this one messed up. And here's a close-up of the eye look. Next, I'm gonna be taking my Coho Lashes in the Style Goddess, and I'm just gonna use my Better Than Six mascara to go ahead and coat my lashes. Then I'm gonna be using my Laura Mercier Primer in Radiance Bronze. I love this stuff because it doesn't have silicone in it. Then I'm gonna be using my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in Amber Honey. Now, it does look like it's too like dark for me, but I promise you guys, yet again, it, it, it works. If you see me in person, it looks like my skin color. I don't know, it's the light. I'm gonna take my um, Real Technique sponge and just buff that out. And the brush that I used for my foundation was a Morphe M439 brush. And then I'm gonna be using my Black Up Powder to just set my face. And the brush I'm using is the Morphe E41. Kinda sounds like, you know, I have a lot of Morphe brushes, but I do because I went on like a crazy buying thing with their brushes. I just love their brushes. And I'm using my LA Girls Concealer in Warm Honey. This concealer looks super, super light in on camera. Y'all, it look yet again, it looks so much better in person. So until I can get my lighting down, I'm just gonna have to um use a darker concealer. I didn't even bake. I'm and I'm using the um Sasha Buttercup setting powder. Yeah, I didn't even bake because I just didn't make it any worse. Then I'm gonna be using my cover fix powder in N100 to act as a bronzer. And the brush I'm using is a Morphe M527. Then I'm going to be using my new Makeup Be Contour shade in the shade Deal Breaker, and I'm going to be using the Morphe M402 brush. If you guys hear that noise in the background, it is my dog crying because my roommate came in to the apartment. Then I'm going to be using this blush called Love Joy by NARS, and I'm using the Morphe E3 brush. Then I'm going to be using my new, um, not new, but I'm going to be using this Becca highlighter in the shade Topaz. I'm just using a fan brush, and this brush that I'm using, it came through a set, so I don't know what it is. And then the other highlighter I just used was by JD Glow Cosmetics in the shade Egyptian. Then I'm going to be using this NYX lip liner in Espresso to line my lips. And I'm going to take this um, Dose of Colors lip gloss and undress and just top that. And then put my bottom mascara on, and that's it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time.